Nicola Sturgeon is under pressure after a poll left her independence dreams in tatters amid claims that her party may be powerless to stop the Shetlands from breaking away from Scotland. Nicola Sturgeon is in crisis after suffering a double blow in recent days over her plans. The Scottish First Minister faced a devastating setback after new polling dealt a hammer strike to her bid for independence. Ms Sturgeon also suffered a blow over claims the Shetland Islands could become independent from Scotland. George Galloway told RT that Shetland's chances of breaking away from Scotland were a very real thing. He went on to say that Ms Sturgeon is powerless to stop the succession plans and any attempt to do so would provoke uproar among her critics. Mr Galloway explained, Shetland has never actually belonged to Scotland. It was given as a wedding present, a dowry, by the King of Denmark and Norway to the then King of Britain, King James III. So if it belongs to anyone, it belongs to Buckingham Palace. She won't have an army, a navy or an air force so she can't do a blind thing about it even if politically, morally, or intellectually there was any case for doing so. The RT host pointed out, it would be strange to refuse a demand for self-determination when it is everything her political party is about. Mr Galloway agreed, adding, actually one of the SNP MPs Angus McNeil has already stated that if the Sheltonders want to leave, they can go. It was 18 votes to 2 in the council. Orkney quickly followed suit. I think it's a very real thing. He went on to discuss the turning tide against independence in Scotland, pointing to recent devastating poll numbers for the SNP. Mr Galloway said, the latest polls show a complete reversal of the independence trend. It all depends on the question you ask. 56% of people said they want to remain in the UK. Two thirds told the Daily Record that an independence referendum is not a priority. The new polling, conducted by the Unionist Scotland and Union Campaign Group, surveyed a representative sample of 1,008 people. It found 42% of Scots would be less likely to vote to leave the UK if it meant abandoning the pound and adopting a new currency. Similarly, if breaking up Britain led to a hard border between Scotland and England 43% of Scots would be more opposed. The respondents were also asked how they would vote on a referendum on should Scotland remain in the United Kingdom or leave the United Kingdom. The survey found 56% would choose to remain with the UK whilst just 44% would vote to leave. Scotland voted to remain part of the UK in 2014 by 55% of the vote to 45%, a similar margin to the latest poll numbers. Reacting to the survey Pamela Nash, chief executive of Scotland in Union argued it shows how important remaining part of the UK is for Scots.